born provocative with buried rituals, an heiress to an unknown culture colored, my conglomerate a civilization drawing water from the river with abundance bundled in head, while dilating birthright's passage and humming spirituals bursting from new skin. And humming spirituals bursting from sutures, old patterns aren't meant to be new skin. I remember to remember, I remember to remember, I remember to remember. With this knowing, I call my name. Slick, with parting lips, spit of her stories. With this knowing, I have a name. Coagulated monthly moon blood, with this knowing, I drips my name from shadows, borderland parables, so the others of us can midwife the others of us whose wombs portal the others of us into the hands of the others of us, catching the others of us as we birth the others of us, too. As we birth the others of us, our memories reach back, summoning old speak so we spit new tongue, a dialogue of mud and white magnolia flowers, learning to water ourselves from Earth's root upward. We become a diaspora salvaging paradise inside cement cities, speaking feral beliefs through our inner chambers of solar symphonies. We festival their premeditated, premeditated funerals for us, our collective visibility triumphs when we summon the spirit of undoing past patterns. We stage refusal against myths, attempting to statistic us chaotic. They can't stuff us inside chaos that only exists because it can't contain us. Our breath becomes unbound pamphlets, fluttering in zephyr winds, ensuring our dreams find our seeking as we seek dreams spun within. Three, born provocative with buried rituals, an heiress to an unknown culture colored, my conglomerate a civilization drawing water from the river with abundance bundled in head, rising from bone black bones from fire's ash. We are no burning phoenix rising. Our energy is etheric, ripples of healing, dilate and negotiate language of space with these bodies spilling across identities, us time, forge a vision with our body's waters. What have we done with these bodies? Breathe within our primordial waters. What are we doing with these bodies? Coloring in legacies, lacy accent. What have we done to deserve these bodies? Transmit the medicine of our nations as we chant ascension from false decay of these bodies, our bodies, the others of us inside these bodies. Four, the others of us mining the gaps in invisible and gentrified spaces, awakening these bodies, making passage with precedent, locating our presence within the present, carving theories with restless urges, drafting resistance to oppression, building epistemologies with Western, Northern, Eastern, and Southern African Aboriginal rhythms. We center our dark and light bodies, black matter of worlds coming out of worlds, coming out of worlds where the sun comes into our lap as the moonlight drips, patter patter drips from pussies speaking home to the legacies of pre-colonial Africa, colored Negro, black African American, black American, black womanist, feminist, Duality of multiple identities shifting, queering, American ramblings as we pray with the internalized silence to which we were born. Bury and seance, elevating crones who birth maidens, who birth mothers, holding ceremonies so the others of us remember to make offerings to those of us who forget to offer ourselves to ourselves and shift the legacies, un legacies undulating within. And so it is, I say. Thank you. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Anastasia, Imani, Didi, Mason, tech folks. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. And thank you. It's nice to see everybody here. I don't know y'all, but I feel y'all. So. <laughs> and my wife, who drove us five hours up here. <laughs> okay. So this one's called um, Falling Bodies. Um, okay, I'm just going to keep going. Falling bodies. Yeah. Black bodies 
black as in quiet as core within earth womb where mammon and scientific uncertainties hasn't theorized a probe, black as in when eyes lower at rest, at sorrow, at ecstasy, as in yes, deep spiraling joy, black bodies, bodies as in 90% water towing spirited flesh, experiencing layering as keloids, as in bodies following respire, following thoughts, as in tense bodies with short staccato breaths, as in inhale, aligning matter between pores and sweat, black bodies read from a TV, newspaper, online, chatter, distant, tiny desk perspective as falling, falling as in failing, losing, dying, unnamed martyr without care for resuscitation. But these tiny desk, distant perceptions forget we have these black bodies. Our bodies be palindromes. Our distance among us, red in front of us, is inner distance within, creates remoteness with false convictions, not our subscriptions. We chime to our needs, as in, no, I don't want this because it feels uncomfortable, as in, I'm in my right to give or take away your consent to engage with me, as in, I can't breathe when I'm confined in a chokehold, as in, if I die in police custody, I didn't commit suicide. As in, prostitution doesn't mean I should be susceptible to rape. As in, aborting a baby doesn't mean I'm a murderer. It means I'm pro-choice, my choice, and you don't know the experiences that have led me here. As in, closed mouths willingly not fed in prison hunger strike. As in, I'm whole, tender, mesmerizing, complex, infinite love. As, as I'm not the history, his story, you're fed by which you believe you know me as in wind affirms me because I have feelings like breeze and hurricane, as in all hands off a side and a bounty removed, as in I'm in this structural box, wake the fuck up, stuck in this box, awake in the box and let the box be inferior, as in an orgasm is part of my personal orbit, so lick me up consentingly. Yeah. <laughs> as, in, as in your projected phobias, signify your inability to rectify borderlands littered with your own fear, as in a slow dance with self, as in bombs and war for freedom equals genocide happening now, as in we are all human, black bodies gliding in place, not always falling. Yes, we do fall, but we never get up alone. We rise together. Our breath is eons old. Black bodies counted, seen as many, falling that all we do is fall fall and fall, falling to fail, failing so we fall in life, in love, in place, in grace. Yes, falling is our place. It is any person's place to fall. Yes, fall into our places, our uses, our erotic, our feral hearts forwards, our inner markets. Yes, we fall into it, absorbing it. Get into this, be bound by us, these black body, bodies alight. What is there to adjust if our place is traveling? 93 million miles below the sun. Two, Nine million miles within moon's pool. Being out of place is place. Out of places, these black bodies wounds suture because there is space for all of us. We hold spaces for each other's spaces. As we pace our complexities, we deserve healing for ourselves, ourselves, our communities. We hold pain, bladder full. It is our time of release. It is our time, it out, it's ours. Collect our change, tenderly touch our places, our center. Our center is a sign of itself birthing us. These black bodies fluid, crossing over, delving into, unfurling beyond our bound bodies where we is escaping. Only pathway is within. Resort into body, let us fall beyond exhaustion made from identifying, explaining, reclaiming, defending our bodies to the tiny, distant desk pinholing perspective that isn't us. Instead, drift into this constellation sitting in our black body's lap. Thank you. Okay, I'm keeping up with the time. I think I'm good for one more. Okay, so this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this one is called The Descend Upon Ourself. So it's weird. I wrote, it's not weird. I wrote this one because I was having this conversation with my this uncle, he's 
super homophobic, but still figures that he can love me in a way by telling me, I, I know, so by telling me that I don't know what love is, but I'm happy if you're happy, which is really BS, so he's still homophobic. <laughs> it's really weird. So I wrote this poem to like summon all this queerness and just celebrate myself and hope that if I write this to uplift myself, then somebody else will also feel uplifted. Yeah. Right, so I didn't get stuck in his, in his homophobia and internalize it, which is very easy for a lot of folks to do with anything, if you're gay or not gay, you know, or however you identify. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so that's just a little backstory on that. Okay, so it's called To Descend Upon Ourselves. To descend upon yourself while holding dusk as you dawn, witnessing your brimming rise necessitates no other approval but your own word. Waiting for another's approval is like a brittle aluminum fence overtaken by a weather of perspective, binding you, a plot, inside someone else's fence, casting you from you, a nation amongst nations. And you, a field of wild nettle, needs water to liquidate those knowings that aren't your own, for what you know is an ancestral asset, irrigating your rise, bounding past worn posts, attempting to conceal you undetectable because your dialect is a polyrhythmic reality. Were your presence of flesh swept with the winds of wisdom opening a, opening a threshold like a smoking bundle of cedar, pine, and rosemary, so too are the others of us witnessing you chanting yes, chanting yes, chanting yes, activating your body's water and transforming any and all dis-ease. In your transformation of believing in you, you begin to starve that uncertainty crackling. Every moment another voice douses you with, I don't approve of you as you wish to express your yawning adoration, your love, but I'm happy if you're happy. For then you give back that brittleness, that dry well of thought attempting to bend your being because you, a vessel clearing the ether with your light, invokes the abundance in the others of us, triggers the wealth with which we stroll, flowers our remembrance that we too are normal and our gardens shall nourish. And because of you, we too can sever from old ways, spit back those rusted fences, and hold reverence for the medicine that is us, the medicine that is me, the medicine that is you, the medicine that is we. Ashe. Thank you.